Wintertime in Kansas brings a variety of precipitation types ranging from snow to sleet to rain and freezing rain. It is likely that residents of Kansas will encounter all four of these precipitation types this winter. All four of these precipitation types may even fall on the same day in the same location. So in order to pass along an understanding of each of these precipitation types and how they form, we've included a short visual aid describing the process by which each precipitation type forms. We'll start off with rain, which occurs when precipitation that initially starts out as an ice crystal falls through a continuous warm layer all the way to the surface. Temperatures need to be above or very near to freezing at the surface for the precipitation to remain in the liquid state all the way to the surface. Next we'll move on to snow, which occurs when an ice crystal forms in the freezing part of the atmosphere and can remain in sub-freezing air all the way to the surface. If many of these ice crystals stick together during the plummet to earth, they will form snowflakes. These snowflakes can range in size from less than a centimeter to over an inch wide, and the size depends greatly on the temperature of the atmosphere. Warmer air will cause some of the crystals to melt and allow these crystals to stick together easier, creating larger, wetter snowflakes. If the air above the surface is very cold, the crystals will not melt and remain fairly discreet, thus smaller flakes will result. Freezing rain forms when an ice crystal encounters a layer of warm air above the surface and melts, becoming a raindrop. The raindrop remains in a liquid state until it encounters a freezing object at the surface. If the layer of cold air near the surface is deep enough for the drop to refreeze, then it will fall asleep. However, if the layer of sub-freezing air at the surface is not deep enough for the raindrop to freeze, it will, be, it will remain liquid, then freeze to whatever object it encounters. When a large amount of ice accumulates on the surface, the National Weather Service will designate the event an ice storm. Finally, we have sleet, which occurs when ice crystals that start as snow in the freezing part of the atmosphere encounter a layer of air which is warmer than freezing. When the ice crystal meets up with warmer air, it will melt into a raindrop. If the newly melted raindrop encounters a fairly deep layer of freezing air near the surface, the drop will refreeze back into an ice pellet. The main difference between snow and sleet is that snow is ice that has crystalline type structure, while sleet takes on a more solid pellet-like structure. Sleet will also usually bounce when hitting the pavement, while snow will either stick to the ground or melt instantly. We hope you find this presentation informative and helpful. We encourage you to check our website for all your weather, winter weather forecasting needs at www.weather.gov forward slash Topeka. You can also call the National Weather Service office in Topeka 24 hours a day at 785-234-2592.